Well, a few minutes before the show, I apologize for the late chalk talk, but that Patriots game was talked out, and I thought with as big of a matchup as the 49er game is today, with strength on strength, the Seahawks team and their defense and San Francisco's defense and first place really on the line, the NFC West, depending on what happens with Arizona on Sunday. Let's look at the key of the game. Let's look at the power play. Let's look at what people have defined as God's play. And as similar as the Seahawks and 49ers may be, as stylistically similar as they may be, when it comes to their run game, they are very different. The Seahawks are much more of a zone blocking team, which for the last three years with Chalk Talk, I think I've laid many of those out where you've seen the zone, the area blocking. And Jim Harbaugh and what he's done at Stanford, what he did at the University of San Diego, what he's done all the way along, he's not as nearly as big a zone blocking guy. He'll mix some of that in, he'll mix counter and sweep, but they rely on power. In fact, when he was at Stanford, I had one of his games. An opposing coach said, we studied Stanford's power play, Jim Harbaugh's power play. We studied it one off season, and we found that they would run power. And I'll show you what that concept is tonight, show you the keys for the Seahawks to try to stop it. But he said that Stanford would run that power play from 40 different formations and looks. 40 different, whether personnel group, whether it's shift, whether formation, because the concept, and here's the concept of power. Unlike zone blocking that I've talked to you that's really really an area. The guys are going to their zone. They're going to try to cut off and get people involved. And you give that running back a, a two-way go to plant his foot and get up and down field. The power concept is very, very different. The power concept says, no, instead of zone blocking, it's much more of a man blocking, a man responsibility. And in its core, and what's hard is they do it from so many different groups and personnel. So this is just a very vanilla look here in a vanilla Seahawk defense. But the concept is we always want to leave two to the side we're running it for the polling guard, and in this case, the second tight end. So here's what I mean. The Seahawks come up, you got Big Red Brian and his technique heavy on the, on the strong side. They're gonna release out their tight end more often than not and get him out, get Vernon Davis or get that guy out, okay, onto a strong safety so they can leave two guys that being your strong side linebacker, your defensive end, two guys to be blocked and therefore be able to block down, be able to create those angles, create that push, okay, create that leverage, and then they leave two because you will see this tonight for multiple formations. Sometimes you'll see it with Kaepernick. He's the only guy in the backfield. But watch tonight at the point of attack, what San Fran wants to do is they want to build a wall. I had a long chat with the D coordinator at Oregon State who played Stanford very, very well. And we walked through all of this and he said they want to build a wall where they get that movement, they get that push, and they build that wall for their running back. So here's your two extra Seahawk defenders, right? They've been left alone because everybody's down blocking here comes the guard to kick out here comes the second puller to take care of the extra body they leave that wall whether they push that down whether they cook kick it out they want to create that wall for their back then Frank Gore or their quarterback Kaepernick or LaMichael James or any of those guys to get downhill what do the Seahawks have to do in my estimation three things three things always kills this power penetration penetration by your defensive line instead of getting pushed and mauled and walled down those are your big boys that's branch that's me being those are those guys reasserting that line of scrimmage so for those pullers and those guys that have to come and kick out or come and close it down you create that push secondly don't get caught in the tidal wave okay you get around that wall Whatever that is, whether that be stunting, whether that be extra defenders, whether that be run blitzing, you do not want to get caught behind that enemy's wall when he is running. And then lastly, and most importantly, what this defense does really, really well. And they do it here, 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 here, here. They all tackle. They win their one-on-ones. Penetrate, don't get stuck behind the wall, tackle well, you have a shot tonight against San Francisco's power.